हेलो गाइस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन यूटिलाइज लैमडा कंटेक्स टू कैशेड सम ऑफ दी लाइक डेटा और मे बी डेटा बेस कनेक्शन लाइक दैट इज टफ फ्रॉम वन लैमडा एग्जीक्यूशन टू अनदर लैमडा एग्जीक्यूशन ओके सो वॉट वी विल डू वी विल फर्स्ट क्रिएट एन लैमडा फंक्शन लेट्स नेम इट टेस्ट लैमडा एक्स कंटेक्सट रन टाइम आई विल बी गोइंग टू यूज एस एन पाइथन एंड देन आफ्टर आई विल गोइंग टू क्रिएट दिस फंक्शन सो आई विल एक्सप्लेन मीन वेल इट इज क्रिएटिंग आई विल एक्सप्लेन दी कॉन्सेप्ट सो लेट से यू वॉन्टेड टू कैश ए सम ऑफ दी थिंग्स फ्रॉम डिफरेंट डिफरेंट लैमडा एग्जीक्यूशन ओके सो इट कुड बी एनी थिंग एनी स्पेसिफिक वेरी लेस अमाउंट ऑफ डेटा मे बी द डेटा कनेक्शन लेट से यू हैव क्रिएटेड अ कनेक्शन इन दी फर्स्ट लैमडा एग्जीक्यूशन ओके एंड यू वॉन्टेड टू यूज द सेम कनेक्शन इन दी अनदर लैमडा एग्जीक्यूशन एज वेल सो दैट the time to create uh, the lambda uh, so the time to create the uh, database connection uh, you you would not uh, like spend that again and even you are not creating that connection again okay so that would be the advantage like you can cache it from one lambda execution to another okay so let's see how we can do this so basically anything written bef out of this lambda handler is known as uh, uh, basically the lambda initialization okay and this would be run once only whenever this uh, container for this lambda function would be created okay so uh, obviously whenever you run it first time it would create that lambda uh, 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 container uh, if you run it second time it would be going to utilize the same container okay and it would not going to run the code you have written out of this lambda handler basically okay so how will how i will show you let's see if i have some data With value as none, okay, and then after what I will do, I will some per perform some heavy task. So for that perspective, let's import time, and I will just sleep it for let's say uh, six seconds, okay, and I will print some data as well, uh, and will add some message as well. So it is before. uh in initialization i will say in initialization yeah and then after i will assign some data as some value right and then after i will going to print some data here okay so, uh, i will add an message inside lambda handler right okay so i will save it and deploy it so as we have added a task of sleep like 6 seconds so it will going to take more than 6 seconds so what we have to do we have to edit this general configuration and let's make time out as 30 second for now and just save it uh so now let's see how how it would work right so ideally each time if we run it it should take 6 second right so let's go inside the test i will create an event and save it run it so now you can see it is taking 6 second nearly going to take 6 second 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 yeah so we got the result and inside the uh, you can see this from inside the like the first time it is printing as none so here it is like we have this print statement and some data is none and second time inside the lambda handler it should uh, print this some value right it should print some value yeah so some value next time if you see if i going to run this function right so it will not going to take 6 seconds again so if i run it so now you can see it it hardly it only takes 2 millisecond right even the uh, initialization time is not there so uh, i will show the initialization time again so let's say if i make some change quickly some value 1 save it and deploy it so if i test it again so it will going to take 6 second that reason being is we have deployed it again right so now you can see build duration is 3 millisecond and indeed init duration is 6089 millisecond so init duration is basically the code that we have written outside of the lambda handler the time uh, aws services takes to execute the code written outside of this lambda handler so basically that takes 6089 millisecond if we run it again we will not be get, getting any init duration the reason being is it is for only first time 
so next time it only takes two milliseconds right so here kind of i think what ideally we should do we should uh, let's say if we had kind of bringing any uh, fixed data let's say right any static data so we will be can we can pull that from here as well right and that you are going to utilize in all the calls let's say so you can uh, like write that code here second would be if let's say you wanted to make database connection or redis connection or anything like that so you can utilize this lambda in it basically using the lambda context okay so that's it for this video if you have any queries post it in the comment section